Mormont. I smell a creature in my trap. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. What do we have here? A new green species? Let me have a look at you, huh? Uh, is it... Oh, come on! Open up, Scaly! Ooh, you can't just pry open a pangolin, no matter how hard you try. Nah! Oh, I'll forget it. I'll get you open back in the kitchen. The kitchen? Okay, Artichoke, let's get ready to follow that endangered species chef. Quick! To the city I sails with a boat full of pangolin scales. There'll be the special health booster for my smooth and juicy juicer. <laughs> Surely people will believe that the scales from a creature this strange possess special health benefits. So I'll just grind up the scales as a health powder for the greatest smoothie recipe ever. Are you kidding me? Pangolin smoothie for health? No. Martin. Come in, Chris here. Did you get the coordinates I sent? Got them, Chris. We're on our way. T-Rex? <gasps> he got you too? Whoa, he's got pangolins from all over the world. Martin, hurry. The way Gourmand is collecting the pangolins, they'll be gone before we ever get a chance to tell people about them. That's not gonna happen, trust me. I'll be bombing in real soon. Hey, I'm looking for a certain Chinese pangolin. She's the mom of a friend of ours. Can you help me find her? You! Green grape. I should have known. Oh. Who did you say you were looking for? Uh, this one, maybe? <gasps> Gourmand, let her go. Now, now, I can't do that, because then I wouldn't be able to use her in my very first pangolin smoothie. And you can watch me prepare it. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, that's close enough. Bring her up slowly. Ready, Martin? All set. <laughs> Aim it straight, Aviva. Remember, stay rolled up, and the scale defense will see you through. Let's do this. Ready, aim, fire! To the pangolin rescue. <laughs> ah, yes, an artichoke and berry smoothie with ground up pangolin tail scales for healthy lungs. Gourmand, why do you think that ground up pangolin scales will help people's lungs breathe better? Well, the scales are so unusual, they must have special health benefits. Just because it's an amazing feature doesn't mean you should eat it. There's no science that says eating pangolin scales makes you more healthy. Besides, they're made of keratin, and there's keratin in your fingernails, too. So, if you really want to eat it, why don't you just put your fingernail clippings in your smoothie instead? No! As long as people think pangolin booster smoothies are healthy, I'm selling. Huh? Now, where did that pangolin go? Aha! You thought you could get away, did ya? Oh? <coughs> so, Gourmet, were you looking for her? Why don't you try using pine cones in your smoothie instead? Because you're not using our friend. Good one, bro! Ew! Stop right there! I think prehensile tails are great for grabbing things, and in this case, picking locks, too. Pangolin defense! What? Oh! Ah! 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 
<laughs> Don't mess with pangolins, Gourmand. Oh, no. Ah! Whoa, hold up! <gasps> Not down there, Whoa. bro. <sighs> Uh-oh! Quick! The feather! Yeah, my souvenir kit is right! Huh? It's... it's gone! What? And we're goners! Oh. This could hurt a little, bro! A little? <laughs> You're welcome! I guess that's what you'd call scared out of your shorts! Oh! <laughs> hey! Can I have those back? Oh, guess not. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the rescue. I'm glad we got there in time. Yeah, we were about to get walloped. Ow! Ah! Kinda like that. Ah! It's, it's raining adventure gear! Oh, it's gotta be here somewhere. I gotta find it. What are you looking for? Only one of the most important things in the world. My creature souvenir kit. I can't find it. It's disappeared. Maybe over here. Oh, I checked everywhere. Well, where was the last place you had it? Yes, we gotta retrace my steps. Hmm, okay. So last time I remember having it was... Yeah? The Arctic. Just this past summer, remember? When we were there with Baby Tooth, the Arctic Wolf Pup. Oh, yeah, and don't forget Kid Muskie, the muskox calf. Ah! He liked head buddy. Hmm. I remember I had it on that adventure. Okay, then it must be there somewhere. Maybe you dropped it or left it somewhere. Let's get back to the Arctic. We'll find it some way, somehow, brother. Jimmy, <gasps> to the Arctic! All right! Ah, my Finder's Keepers collection. <laughs> if someone loses it and I find it, I get to keep it! <laughs> Ah, but it is missing something. I don't have anything in here from those annoying wild rats. Hmm. Zapbot, are you in position? Well then, improve signal. Uh, there, there, now. What are those wild rats up to? Are we almost there, Jimmy? I'm going as fast as I can. The Arctic is pretty far away, you know. It's as far north as it gets. Like, the North Pole. Oh, I know, but I gotta find my Creature Souvenir Collection right away. Did he say Creature Souvenir Collection? It's all of my Creature Treasures. Creature Treasures? Oh, boo-hoo, who cares? They remind me of our adventures. Blah. They're things of natural beauty. Blah. And sometimes, they help give us creature powers in a pinch. Blah, blah. <gasps> give you creature powers? Well, then I can't let you have it. You and your creature powers keep messing up all my plans. Anything that makes it harder for them to use those annoying suits is well worth it to me. I'll find their lame creature souvenir collection before they do. Besides, it'll make a perfect addition to my Finder's Keepers collection! <laughs> Jackbots! Get my warmest jacket! We're going to the Arctic! Uh-oh! It's winter now! How are we gonna find Chris's Creature Souvenir Kit under all this snow and ice? Well, this is what the Arctic looks like most of the time. It's the harshest cold weather climate on the planet. My collection is somewhere under that snow, and we've got to find it. Okay, so where exactly were you when you used it last? Well, okay. 
Down in that valley was where we helped the muskox herd fend off the wolf pack. Remember that? Oh, yeah. The musk oxen did their patented defensive circle to keep the wolves at bay. And in the middle of the fray, it rose up in front of me. A piece huh? of shed musk ox fur. If I could catch it, it'd forever remind me of this incredible creature moment. Did you catch it? Not exactly. Why not? Well, just as I was about to grab it, I kind of sort of got in the way of a musk ox. Aww. But the fur floated down right on my face. <gasps> so you got the fur. Did you put it in your creature souvenir kit? No, not then. I had to stay focused on the battle. But after we fended off the wolves, I headed back to the den to see Baby Tooth. It was later that day that I put the piece of fur safely away. I put it right beside the baby tooth that Baby Tooth, the Arctic wolf pup, gave me. And that's what you were doing when I called you at the den. Whoa. Come in, Green Wolf Pack. This is Blue Ox here. We've got a battle brewing here, bro. Are you talking about what I think you're talking about? Oh, yeah. Headbutting battles of epic proportions. I'm on my way. Oh, I can't miss that. Muskox, here I come! I rushed like crazy, but I definitely remember taking the collection with me. Uh-oh, the Challenger. Easy head basher. Mind if I call you that? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll just get out of your way. Doesn't look like he is, though, and that means trouble. He's trying to take over Headbasher's herd. And Headbasher is not happy about it. Hurry, Chris, the battle's starting. I'm hurrying. Here they go. Running at each other full tilt. For maximum power and impact. Viva, this could get interesting. Yeah. yeah. It really makes me appreciate how many amazing animals we've encountered. And how many awesome creature power discs you've made. Hmm. Oh. It makes me tired just thinking about it. I'm taking the day off. No inventing today. I'm spectating. The bros are on their own. I don't get too comfy, Aviva. I'm not a professional scientist, but I think I observed when it comes to high tech bros usually end up needing your help. Let's start with a strength contest between the elephant and the rhino. You're on! Rhino power! Squirrel power! Huh? Oh, wrong one. Elephant power! Creature powers. Oh yeah, rhino powers. Elephant powers are so awesome. I can do push-ups with my nose. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Save it, brother. It's a sumo-style showdown of strength. Whoever pushes the other guy into the mud wallow wins. Elephant powers are the strongest. Left. We need to replenish our stocks of solar panels. I've got a big list. We really have to go to the nearest town to get supplies, like now. 
I, Martin and Chris aren't gonna be psyched about that. You know, they'll say something like, well, we just got here to the Sonoran Desert. And we've only met a few of the creatures who live here. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't wait any longer. And that's the point. We're in a desert and we're also running out of water. Hey, why don't we just take the Cratera? That way, we get the stuff we need, and the bros can keep exploring. Did you see this, Liz? We need too much stuff. It's time for our giant annual Tortuga resupply. Yeah, come to think of it, I am running low on a lot of important materials for creature power suit programming. Uh-oh. And what if we run out of snacks? Water. <coughs> Water. Water. We need water. The desert has given us a beating. Hey! Gotcha! Huh? Guys, knock it off! We have to conserve! This is our last bottle of water! Aviva and I have just decided we have to leave now and go to town and get resupplied. What? But we just got here to the Sonoran Desert. And we've only met a few of the creatures who live here. I told you. I know, but we've run out of so many things, and... Oh, no! This is the last bag of nachos, and we have no more salsa. Oh, yeah, you do have to have salsa for your nachos, especially when you're adventuring the desert southwest. Wait a second. We can't go now. We're just on the tail of that speedy little mystery lizard over there. Leaving now is against the Wildcrats Creature Adventuring Code of Conduct. Yeah, you're right, bro. Gotta stay until we know exactly who that mystery lizard is. Whoever it is, it'll be a new animal for our life list. Seeing through binoculars doesn't count. We have to see it up close and personal to add it to our life list. I know, but at least we know what we're trying to get a closer look at. Oops. Whoa! It has two tails, three eyes, and... Uh, Martin. Ah! The binoculars are broken. Now we have another reason to head to the nearest town. New binoculars. Come on, guys, get packed up and ready to go. Please, just five more minutes. Oh, come on, we just have to get close to that speedy mystery lizard. Just five more minutes, please. Fine. I still have to realign the Tortuga's hover thrusters before we take off. I can give you half an hour. <laughs> all right! Yeah, all right! Hey. Thanks, Koki. Yeah, we'll be right back. Sure you will. All right, this will be great. As soon as I spot the lizard, I'll let you go, and then you'll go flying after him. And I can grab that mystery lizard as I fly by. I should have activated bear powers or something strong. Uh, you see the lizard? Not yet. Could be a while. Oh, there he is! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! It's, it's, it's a... Cactus! Give it all you got! You got it! You can say that again. Smooth it out, Jay-Z. Slower. A few more turns. I'll give him the old Jay-Z jigzag. A creature alert. Coming in from some Wildcrats kids. Um, in Eastern North America. Wildcrats Tortuga HQ. Mystery discovery or rescue? Mystery, I guess. Wait, no. Rescue. Wait, maybe all three. Wow, what's going on? We've got a big problem. Our clubhouse tree is dying. Even worse, the whole forest here is dying. What? All the trees are dying? Why? We don't know. We're worried about all the creatures that live here, too. They can't live without their forest. See? It's a mystery and a rescue, all rolled into one. We need help. You're not kidding. Hang tight, we're on our way. Jimmy, take her down, double speed. What's going on? Whoa! Did you tell him to give it all he's got? I didn't know he had this much. Die! All right.
right, Stomp. Get those long legs out of here. Chris will keep Gorman distracted as long as he can, but we've got to move fast. So let's round up these raptors and get them out of here. Okay, Ibi, you gather the falcons. But which are the falcons? All of these raptors have similar features. You're right, but the different groups of raptors, hawks, eagle, falcons, owls, and vultures, each have special features. Falcons have long, thin wings and black patches under their eyes. On it. Koki, could you handle the hawks? Sure I could, if I knew what one looked like. Like her. Shorter, broader wings and wide, fan-shaped tails. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Jimmy, can you sort out the owls? Easy. They'll be the ones that hoot before they sink their talons in my face, right? Well, some hoot. But all owls have round faces and the biggest eyes. And I'll wrangle the eagles, the biggest and most powerful birds of prey. Let's go, Wildcrats. Falcon. Hawk. Owl. Eagle. Ha <laughs> ha, now that's what I call a raptor roundup. We've got eagles. Hawks. Falcons. Owls. Uh, that's four, but didn't you mention five basic groups of raptors? <gasps> vultures! We forgot the vultures! Come on, everybody, grab a vulture! Here, pretty, 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 pretty. I hope Chris and the Falcon Powers can keep Gourmand distracted a little bit longer. Over here! Come and get me, Gourmand! Get over here! Vulture secure. <laughs> Let's fly out of here. What about Chris? He'll be fine. He's got Peregrine Falcon powers. If I tuck into a super stoop, the Peregrine Falcon's fastest dive, I can outfly your mod snowballs. Uh-oh! All right, we've got to help him. But we can't show up around Gourmand with a truck full of raptors. First, we'll let all the African raptors go. <laughs> Marshall Eagles, away! So long, spotted owls. Be free, chanting goshawks. Hostile a feast of vultures. Fly away home, Falcon. <clears throat> Not so fast, Amiga. I need to borrow a little speed from this Falcon first. Activate Peregrine Falcon power. <laughs> So I can sit back and rescue my bro. Sounds good, Mark. We'll get the rest of these non-African raptors back to the Tortuga safe and sound. All right, Chris. Get ready for a raptor rescue. So far, boy. Can't move so fast now, can you? That was just a lucky shot, Cormond. Well, one thing I know about birds, they can't fly right unless their feathers are just so. And I'm not talking about so muddy. <laughs> It'll take you forever to clean off your creature power suit. And by that time, I will have surprised your blue brother and the rest of your friends. And I will recapture my record. creature pod to warn them. All right, buddy. Thanks for the escort, but you better get far away from here now. Because knowing Gourmand, he could be hiding behind any one of these clouds. Now to get an eagle eye on the situation, because all raptors have awesome eyesight. Engage Falcon Vision. Bro, is now really the best time for a mud bath? Oh no, he's stuck. And he's no falcon. He's a sitting duck. Ew. Okay, a falcon has 450 feathers, so it takes me an hour to clean each one. Then I'll be here until... 
next Tuesday. Nice dude. I've got to get there and fast. Uh oh. Rocketing from the sky is maybe the most awesome raptor power. But it's nothing without power feet. The crap. Caught my trap again! 